All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful aircraft right here. And right now you can see that it's folded. This is kind of the way that it's gonna be when it comes into the box. And that's the way it's gonna be most of the time when you uh, take it out of the box. You're gonna take it out away from this, <laughs> we call it a jock strap. I don't know if there is a much better way to describe this, but it goes around the drone just like this and then it wraps around right here on the top. Now, if you have propellers on here, it's also going to kind of have the propellers hidden in here. Um, I took the propellers off. We'll talk about propeller safety in a minute. I'm gonna show you how we put the propellers in here, but essentially you're going to take this off, take this off, and here's your drone uh, right here. And then you're going to unfold the drone. And the way you unfold this is pretty straightforward. You have to do the front legs first. You're gonna go like this, and then you're going to undo the back legs. If you do the back legs first, what happens is that the front legs are going to get stuck and you won't be able to unfold them. So front legs first, and then unfold, and here's the beast. Here's the machine right here. The top of the aircraft is pretty cool. It's got two sensors right here, and uh, in the past, other DJI drones had a battery that would go right in here on the top, and then you could turn it on. This is different. The battery actually goes in the back of this drone. But here we have two the, the two sensors. We're gonna talk about them in a minute and kind of explain. And then in here, we have the arms. And then these arms have, at the end of them, they have um, the motors. The motors is where we're gonna put our propellers. This is what is helping us create lift. And then here, we have uh, the antennas. And on these antennas, we also have lights. Now, in terms in terms of the status lights on these arms, the uh, lights in the front are going to be the lights that give us um, colors, and then the lights in the back are going to give us an indication of the status of the aircraft. And you can refer to this diagram right here in order to figure out what those lights actually mean. Uh, typically, green means it's good to go and you can start flying, but there's other indication that you uh, might want to be uh, uh, comfortable with before you fly. All right, now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna put the propellers on here. And the key in here is to look at your propellers. There's two different types of propellers. First off, you can see this by simply looking at the tip. You see that the tips are oriented in different direction, that orange tip. And then the other difference is the fact that one has a silver circle right here, and then the other one has no circle, just a black circle. And if you look on top of the propeller on the motors themselves, here there's a black motor, completely black plastic, and then here at the top we have a uh, silver gray color on top. Well, guess what? You're gonna take the propellers that have the silver uh, marking, and then you're going to install them in here. And all you have to do is put them in, and you'll see there's a little uh, notch right here. You're gonna put the notch in, and then you're gonna go on the, on the sil silver one, you're going to go uh, clockwise to lock them in. And it tells you right here on top of the propeller, it tells you how to lock them, it tells you to go clockwise. The propellers are always the same in a diagonal right here. So we're gonna go in the opposite side, again with a silver one, we're gonna put them in, a little notch in the hole right here, and then we're gonna go clockwise to lock them in. Then we have the black ones, go on the black one right here, and we're gonna lock them in the opposite direction, counterclockwise. So push in, counterclockwise, push in, and counterclockwise right here, okay? Now, you can do this if you want to. You can unfold these. Quite frankly, I never do this. Um, I've never really had an issue with not doing it. Once you've turned the motors on, the uh, centrifugal force is going to uh, put these propellers in place and then the aircraft can start uh, flying. Make sure these propellers are attached correctly, okay? So before you do your flight, kind of a pre-flight checklist, make sure that they're in there and solid. I had students before put them on not the right way and as soon as they start spinning, these propellers go flying and uh, well, if you're near, that could be dangerous. You can get hit by a, a spinning propeller, not a fun thing. What I'm gonna do here, um, as a safety precaution, I'm gonna take these propellers off. I don't like having propellers indoors What I'm dealing with the drone and a battery inside. And since we're gonna be talking about the battery shortly, um, I don't want that to be in here. So I'm gonna undo these propellers and put them to the side. But that's how you install the propellers, which is kind of straightforward. Mm -hmm. 